Hi Taurus, welcome to July. This is your astrology and tarot for the month ahead. If you're not into astrology, this probably isn't the tarot reading for you. Um, but the astrology itself for Taurus is quite huge. So we begin the month with that Jupiter-Pluto conjunction, very powerful, very heavy, and it's in your ninth house. Not only that, we have a lunar eclipse in your ninth house, which is touching Uranus in your first. Now, I told you when Uranus went into your sign that you were gonna change the world. And you might think that your contributions are small. No, they're big. Whether you see that or not, the chain and causation of your questioning, asking why, asking why certain things are done the way they are, why certain processes and <sighs> truths are in place. Why certain things work the way they do and how to better tailor the world to fit those are, that are suffering um, or where you've been suffering, you find the philosophical, legal answers to both. The ninth house is all about that philosophy, that law, the processes in place to work through things. And the ninth house, with so much energy going on, Taurus, you really could be a great orchestrator of change, a great orchestrator of understanding. Especially when it comes to how to help and how to fix things. The eclipse is a big moment for you um, in terms of self, in terms of your higher purpose, in terms of your higher calling, in terms of your influence, in terms of your reach. A lot of you with Uranus in your sign have begun to break free of the things that have been holding you back for years. And it's really powerful if you let it in. Someone once described the ninth house, and I'll put the quote below because I can't remember the name, but that humankind is the middle point between God and the beasts. And you're seeking to find that higher understanding of why you had to suffer in a certain way. On a personal level, despite the change you're making in the world, on a personal level, You are changing the world. The world. You're finding the meaning and the purpose. You're finding your purpose. And you're feeling like despite the odds, there is something bigger at a play there is something bigger at foot as to why you had to go through certain things perhaps why you've had to go through a financial crisis perhaps why you felt a certain way about money about connections or quite simply championing the underdog helping people with so much activity in the ninth house social change is your thing and what a wonderful thing to have again on a personal level this is you finally understanding why certain things had to happen the way that they did why certain people had to reject you why certain people said no why certain people left why you felt a certain lack mentality in some area <sighs> human beings require meaning that's why you're here Right? You understand how things really are different and how Despite the fact that the familiar is comfortable with Uranus in your sign, you understand that you can change too. And it's not always been what you have expected of yourself, but you can far surpass those expectations. Where patterns exist in your life, whatever area it is, 
but the same old same old keeps happening and you're rolling along with it you won't roll along with it anymore you'll ask why you'll get to the root of why Mars in Aries is connecting to Chiron and as the wounded healer and the planet of action combine in your 12th house of what is hidden you can really crack open some answers especially personally now we've talked about the social change we've talked about asking why the philosophy the understanding that's going to propel you forward it's going to make you do wonderful things but the 12th house is telling you Taurus that something in your dreams something in your subconscious something in you needs to be acknowledged it's okay to see how the world needs to change it's okay to see the things that you can do the powerful things that you can do but what about you what is actually motivating you rather than motivating everybody else because you can see what's motivating everybody else quite well at the minute but what's motivating you what's going on in there what's that what's the segue between your pain and the world's now you're very private now you're very quiet okay <laughs> 12th house energy is very mysterious and it's very it's very personal so it's harder to share that but six months from now you're going to understand why sometimes it's good to let people in where you feel like there is a pain, a truth, a very personal truth, maybe surrounding an air sign, an Aquarius, a Libra or a Gemini that rushed in and out of your life. This looks troubling for you. Some people like this. Some people like a hit and run kind of energy of emotion a flash in the pan you don't you like a little stability you like a little security but as far as that air sign in your past goes or the way the air sign in your current has behaved at times you feel like you're walking on eggshells or you feel like you have to conceal it that you're still a bit hurt and it doesn't have to be an air sign but some energy that moved too quickly for you towards you or away from you has left you feeling a little bit emotionally inhibited and so you have become a pioneer and a champion of those who felt somewhat similar albeit through different modes so oh Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Mars in the 12th is going to ask you to heal. And it's going to ask you to really put in the effort. And you're going to want to. With Chiron there, Taurus, you can shed a light on why you sometimes are like a bull to a red rag. Whether that is a true fact or not why certain things make you angry, why certain things make you act out, why uncertainty is a great, great problem for you, especially in love. Now for those of you that are, ooh, Mr. King of Wands wanted to come out. Okay, so for those of you that are entirely single or those of you that are unsure, of somebody in your life perhaps it's because you're now finding the passions in your own life the things that you want for yourself the drive that you want for yourself you're now seeing the things that you want for yourself and you're no longer leaning on people that seemed to possess the qualities that you wanted 
perhaps even in your most close relationships as you start to see what needs to be done you feel a lot more self-reliant but I think for many of you Taurus as we approach Leo season in particular you're seeing things from such a different perspective that you don't necessarily you wouldn't necessarily want the same thing if it's somebody from the past particularly if it's a Libra I don't know that you would want the same thing Ace of Swords you're getting very clear about what it is that you want your perspective in July is changing exceptionally and perhaps you're starting to see a fire sign or a mentor or a male authority figure a bit differently than you had before. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. It could be a good thing. As you get more decisive about what it is that you want to achieve and what it is that you want and what it is that you know to be true, you will start to get a lot less tolerant for other people that don't know. And that's good. Other people that are wishy-washy with you don't make it past July, not with that eclipse in Capricorn. You're way too independent. You're way too devoted to what it is that you need to do next. You're way too interested in your own business to worry too much about other people that can't handle theirs and it is in that mode where you are devoted to something and going forward at great speed that you stop being so impatient particularly as far as manifesting something you've wanted for a very long time which was probably this which was probably love romance, connection, or quite simply just seeing eye to eye. Balance. You've waited a long time for that kind of connection or that kind of understanding or that kind of harmony. So what gives? <laughs> what gives? As far as love goes, Taurus, whether you're married, whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, it takes work. It takes work. Whether it's working on the relationship or whether it's working on yourself, it takes learning and that is exactly where you are in July. So what have you learned? What lessons are you starting to implement? Do you think you would do it differently if that same thing came around again? Do you think you would do it differently if you had the chance? I think even if you think you want it back, you might not. Or I think if you possibly consider that things could have worked out the way they were, I don't think they would have. What you're looking at in the next chapter in love and romance, or in partnership, or in friendship, or in business, is not winning for the sake of winning. It can't just be a place filler. It has to be honest. It has to be true. It has to fit in with your new paradigm, which is why the shifting is maybe delaying certain things for you, which is why it's maybe making things harder to come by in your own head, or it just seems that way. But as we're leading, ooh, a card fell on the floor. As we're leading forward, Taurus, in the next six months, you are going into a whole new phase but it doesn't look like you're going it alone. The 
that deceit and dishonesty and flightiness and flakiness is behind you now. You're heading into much safer emotional territory. And it's not because anything around you has changed, it's because you're making the change and you're understanding that you can change the world. And even if it's just changing your world, it's huge. And it has a ripple effect. So, one more card. <laughs> okay. Two. Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. You're steadily moving towards more passionate, more honest, more exciting, more warm. Times. Leo season, Virgo season. You're headed towards relationships, connections that feel like they bring out your confidence. If there's somebody that you like, somebody in your mind at the minute, Taurus, I think you have to make the first move. <laughs> Especially if it is with another earth sign or it's with even a fire sign. I think you have to make the first move. And it could be quite a slow burn, but Slow burn suits you better if it's what you want in the long run. And if it is in a current relationship or a current work relationship, I think you have to make sure that you're not projecting an old fear or belief system onto them because you are different and shifting with the change can feel shaky, but you are a new Taurus and you have to expect new things and not all people that are coming into your life in the next two months are like the old ones. And even the people that are in your current life are changing too. <sighs> the worst is behind you. Magician. You're more connected you're more in your power you see the potential you see what you can do you see what you can change the revolutionary that you are you can do great things and it is in accomplishing those things that you're accomplishing or thought you could never do making those changes that you didn't think you would make this year but you had to it is in going forward with those changes Taurus that you start to Set your standards higher, set your sights higher, and that's where the universe meets you. Just remember that as far as you are from the higher purpose, the heavens, you're as close to the beasts, so your choices matter. But you know that. I will see you in the extended. Bye Taurus.